Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom document profile in Illustrator CC. Now imagine you always want to open a document that's going to be a consistent size and already has your favorite swatches available instead of having to select them every single time you open a new document. To do this, we're going to create a new and custom document profile. And it goes like this. We're going to press the create new box right here. Wait for this to pop up right here. And I want you to go to art and illustration, view all presets, and then select one of these presets. We'll say this one, B5. We're going to give our document template a name. In this case, I'm going to go tutorial example and select a unit of measurement. So I'm going to go pixels. And here I'm going to set 1200 by 1200. So I want my profile to always open with one artboard that's 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Now I want the color mode to be RGB and the raster effects to be high. So these are the settings that you set right here. And then after that, I'm just going to go create. Now I'm going to create my artboard. It's ready. It's 1200 by 1200. And I see that I already have all these swatches available, but it's not the colors that I actually want. So I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to click on this red right here and hold shift, click right down to there and click and drag these colors to the garbage. Like so. Good. Now I got rid of them like that. Now I'm going to add the swatches that I want to be loaded every single time I open this document. So I'm going to go to user defined to beautiful gradients, which are some of the gradients I use in some of my tutorials and select all of these and drag them into here. This one was duplicated, so I'll just get rid of that. So now what I want to happen is every single time I load this document, I want to have an artboard that's 1200 by 1200 pixels and it has my favorite gradients available and I want this box also to be closed. So having done that, we're not going to save our document. And to do that, it's quite simple. We just go to file and we go to save. And now you need to go somewhere quite tricky. I'm going to post this in the, uh, in the comments below. Basically, you need to get to your username. And after going to your username, you go to app data, then roaming, and then Adobe. And we're almost there. And here you'll be presented with Adobe Illustrator, or here I have Adobe Illustrator 22 settings. Now you need to get to the folder. I had to look around, but you need to get to the folder that has the language in here. So in this case, it was 22 settings and then the version x64 and then eventually you'll be into a folder that has all these and all these other folders in here and you need to select the one that says new document profiles open that and in here we're going to save it with the same name as we we saved we named it so in this case tutorial example so we press save okay this pops up we wanted to save with illustrator cc these settings if you're okay with them i'm okay with them just press OK. Great, now it's saved. Now we can close this document and create a new document. So if we create a new document, we will find our document in the Art and Illustration panel where we made the preset. All you have to do is click View All Presets, scroll down to the bottom, and what we'll find right here is our tutorial example, 1200 by 1200 pixels. So if we click on that, press Create, we now get our artboard that's 1200 by 1200 pixels. And if we go to our swatches, we see that it now has only the swatches that we selected before, which is exactly what we wanted. And that's all there is to create your own custom document profile in Illustrator CC. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Check out our other videos. If you have any questions, uh, write them below and I'll show you the instructions in the pathway for Macs also in the comments below. This was for Windows. And of course, as always, have a great day.